I'm pouting. <laughs> I'm I'm depressed. I'm I'm in torment because <laughs> I I have to prosecute my 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 main bit. I mean, God, why why is it when a man's depressed he looks hotter? <laughs> Oh, so should I? Should I just like be, be depressed, depressed all the time? Yeah. I mean, you already are. That's true. Anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Raid Ace Attorney, the the fifth episode. <laughs> oh yeah, he's kicking you out of the, of the office. <laughs> now he's not depressed anymore. Yeah. Also, I realized, like in the car with Cameron, I'm like, by the way, I think I gave myself all the characters that are new in this game, like for this chapter. Because Cameron only has Edgeworth, the Judge, Gumshoe, if- I don't even know what Detective Gumshoe's gonna show up in this, we haven't seen him. And then- and then Emma. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna- I'm gonna give you the lunch lady if we see her again. I don't wanna be the lunch lady. Do you wanna be the cowboy? Yeah. Okay, you can be the cowboy. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, we gotta get out of here. Oh, yeah. I wonder where out. we should go. Yeah, the, the only other place we have. Oh, there's the lunch lady. Can you take a look at this? You! Yes? You say you wanted some hot tea, right? Um, no, but thanks. She didn't even, even look at me. Hmm, you must have to brew the tea- The tea leaves a long time to get rich flavor like this. We pre-infused the, the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite! The only thing I'm smelling here is a waste of time. The only thing I'm smelling here is bullshit. <laughs> hey, you wanna hey, check you. out Edgeworth's knife? Oh, uh, she's gonna no. say the same shit. Just want some hot tea. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're white. You gotta look at the blood stain again? Oh. Good job. Oh, it already shows that we... Hey, you can, yeah, I think you can examine everything. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, 17, 12, so 5, 12. Sorry, I'm not in. Oh, sorry. Very unprofessional of me, but um. Yeah, how dare you? Okay, so this means at 5, 12 p.m., he came back. Miles Edgeworth, 17, 12. This was the day of the crime. The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was held up at an extra. a couple extra red lights, he wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show you never know what'll happen when you run a yellow light! Haha! <laughs> oh yeah, I meant to ask! Um... <laughs> uh, most of the, the traffic lights around here don't have cameras, right? Uh... Some of them do. Oh god. <laughs> hey, check it out! There's a metal plate here! Hmm, it looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved here. Oh, so they just, like, pass around the award? Wow, one guy's listed a bunch of times! How much do you want to bet it's Von Karma? Is it Von Karma? <laughs> I guess he <laughs> Von Karma. I guess he must be a foreigner? Um, yeah, that's probably it. He's in jail. <laughs> no, wherever he's from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. Maybe he'll shoot me. <laughs> when she says it, his name does have some kind of ring to it. Poor guy. Poor <laughs> So I mean, they just pass around this fucking reward. You don't get to keep it. Oh, my name and ID number are written here. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID number five eight four two one eight nine. I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? <laughs> Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. I forgot you're supposed to have this. Fire on my neck. Yeah. There we go. Do, 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 do. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID Yabba Dabba Doo! <laughs> See, wouldn't that be better? Yabba Dabba Doo? Well, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point, D! It doesn't take much to amuse her. I mean, he does look pretty good for a defense, for like a, like a detective. Oh! The police department entrance! Maybe we'll finally see Gumshoe! What if I go back here? He's gone. Oh. What a nice task! Oh yeah, we've already read that. And we're like, Can we what? just like analyze things again? And it's... Yeah, because it doesn't have Edgeworth in it. 
So it's technically new things. Yeah. Hey, chessboard. I remember being in a chess club. I sucked at it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming all this. Hey, look, the trophy's still there. Yeah. <laughs> they we just took a picture of it. <laughs> they didn't expect us to, to come back up there. Okay, I'm just... You're just dicking around at this point. Okay. You'll get there eventually, buddy. Oh, I'm just, I'm just exploring. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just being an asshole. Look, it's the blue badger. It is the blue badger. That guy with a freakish haircut. Whew! We're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me. It took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic isn't even that bad. Wait, I thought they said that the police department in the... In the... Or is that- it's not the police department, it's the... What is what, it? What, the convention center? No, they, they- they have something that's right next to the prosecutor's office. I think it was- and it's something for the police. I don't know exactly- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's like a little- like a sub-branch? I swear they just mentioned that in like the- the last episode, but- Someone um... tell us. <laughs> the police- oh, the police department, huh? I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. That's it. It's criminal affairs. <laughs> Hmm. Hold on, what's that? <laughs> it's the blue badger. <laughs> Disturbing! Why is it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know. This is that blue badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Ray, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who? Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <gasps> hey, yeah. pal, what, what, what are you doing here? He's just. That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why are you dancing over there? He's bringing that down. What? Oh, uh, well. Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know, I'm a very busy man, pal. Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't know if Gumshoe was gonna show up. Alright, I'll do it the proper way this time. I'll talk to him first, <laughs> then present the e evidence. Yeah. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. W why not? Uh-huh. Well, it's just that Chief Prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office, and... She killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well... No, come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! Chief Prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! Uh, y yes sir. Uh, oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like, faked. Uh, huh? It's just, ever since 9-11 was faked. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> just like the moon landing! <laughs> Yeah, Gumshoe's actually like a like a like closeted uh, like conspiracy theorist. Yeah, like in his off day, he has like the tinfoil hat on. He's like, it it doesn't make sense. The explosions happened before the <laughs> airplane hit the tower. <laughs> yeah, he's that, that's why that's why his eyebrows move like that. He's skeptical of everything. Yeah, what's that dude for? Oh, he's like the, he's like Munch from uh, SVU, where he's like a, a like a very much a conspirator. Yeah, he's like, he's like he's like hmm. JFK's assassination, huh? They never did find that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> and I know a thing or two about bullets. <laughs> you know that's, that's an actual thing? Like, Wait, uh, we did never found the bullet? Yeah, and so people were uh, speculating that it was like an ice bullet that was what? shot. Like a bullet made of ice. I never heard of that before. They make those? Well, that's like part of the theory is like debunking it because like, number one, how are you shooting a bullet made of ice because the barrel of guns heats up to like a couple hundred degrees at least yeah. it'll melt the ice and uh and number two <laughs> this was back in what like the 60s 70s yeah 
did we did they even really have technology like that like I don't think it was as advanced as it probably someone nowadays can make a bullet made out of ice it's probably on like Mythbusters right now but <laughs> no I think Mythbusters actually did an episode about it what about ice bullets I think so because it was like actually such like a big topic anyways that was that was a little sidebar but um <laughs> I just think I just think that that's kind of interesting and uh and Gumshoe over here thinks it's very interesting because yeah. he believes in that that's stuff. our headcanon for Gumshoe he's a conspirator for, while working for the police <laughs> yeah it's just which it's... is kind of funny because he goes along with everything he's like yep that bitch is guilty yeah throwing them in the throw them in the back of the van <laughs> no questions asked <laughs> yeah it's a it's a sensitive issue with the with us these days so what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Dancing with the blue Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? I'm oh, sorry. Then, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. Lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. Oh, I thought you meant he got fired for a second. I, I thought so too. <laughs> I was like, poor gumshoe. You didn't deserve it. I was like, I'm pretty sure he comes back into our games. He can't get fired. <laughs> None of you? I hope he ends up as the chief of detectives. Yeah, I can't remember how 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 like high the I know his pay keeps getting deducted every fucking time though. But <laughs> well, it'd be funny if he was like chief of detectives and he gets paid like pennies. Yeah, yeah, he's like the head of head and he gets paid like two cents an hour. <laughs> yeah, he's and, and then he's like talking about it. He's like he's like oh the real reason I get paid like this is so I can avoid taxes. Yeah, yeah, you can't get taxed if you don't make enough money by the end of the year. Yeah. The, 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 Another interesting sidebar there is that's how a lot of wealthy people stay super rich is they give themselves a technical salary of like like a very little amount like I think like Mark Zuckerberg pays himself like a dollar per year that's his actual salary what? but he gets paid in stock options and because his stock for a company is ever increasing his net worth is still increasing that's... and it's so that he doesn't get taxable income that's so fucked up man that's how the rich stay rich. I guess, and that's how the poor stay poor. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should commit tax fraud. Yeah, because if we get paid a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. If we get paid a dollar, then uh, that, that's all we're getting. <laughs> yeah. I know this is an important trial, but isn't this a bit odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the, the badger dance down pat. Of course you would. Uh, isn't there anything else you could be doing, you useless piece of shit? <gasps> Don't be me to gumshoe. Chief of Police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene? It's unheard of, pal. Wait, he's just a patrolman? <laughs> Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed it with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Sorry, I was confused because he pulled out like the the ticket stub, and I was like, I did not show him the ticket stub. Oh, <laughs> I was like, why aren't you reading? <laughs> what would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Also, if he was stabbed with that knife, wouldn't it have a lot more blood on it? Like when you stab someone, it covers the whole thing, right? Uh, I mean, just think when you stab a knife into like a juicy thing of steak, doesn't it coat the whole thing in its juices? Well, yeah, but I th I feel like. And there's like certain parts of it that get a lot more than others depending on like where where you hit inside of someone yeah um but also i think for the purposes of a game they can't show you like every little speckle of blood that's on it like yeah. how many times in like games and like cartoons and stuff like that have you ever seen a knife that is literally fully coated in blood it's always like one giant well swatch. I, I mean, I play. I watched someone play Danganronpa, and they they're very violent with some of the things that you see. Yeah, uh, well... Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and I do seem a little bit too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Uh, yeah, I want to figure out what's going on with Edgeworth. Oh, he, oh he, he, yeah. Okay, he just I think he just correlates thing. with the same thing. Yeah. I want to see what he says about the... The, the trophy? Oh, shit. 
Which now, one? now that there's actually an option for when you hit A on like every single item, I'm gonna do that a lot. Okay. Hey, at least you're doing it because you can miss some important shit. Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Oh. And I got my pay deducted. <laughs> yeah. I was stealing all the croutons off the plate. <laughs> like the concessions. He was like, he just got like the lunchbox that he carries in. He's like, all right, so I'm taking some of these jello shots with me. Oh, yeah, cheese and crackers got to go in there, too. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be my meals for the next year. Yeah. Make sure I got to keep these frozen. Don't want them molding. <laughs> Uh, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Yeah, one of the fuckers dropped oh, it. Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he forgot. Watch it just be like, oh, when, when the award ceremony is like, Von Karma t slipped and dropped the fucking thing in the shatter. Yeah. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Naysayers? Must be because of the rumors that he's that he's gay. <laughs> uh, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is the detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Me, Detective Gumshoe, must drop his card a lot. Hmm. <laughs> let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. <laughs> now nah, my mistake. <laughs> But didn't you work together with him in criminal- what, what, Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? There you go, you're getting the hang of it. You want to show him your badge? <laughs> hey, look at this. I can still do my job and you can <laughs> Detective, here's my attorney's badge. You show this to me every time we meet, pal. <laughs> Real men show their police badge. Enough said. I wish I had a... I wish had a badge. That's a typo. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Even an ID card would be nice. Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I just found out the detective cards, didn't I? <laughs> wow, so that's a hint, I guess. Yeah. So this ID card belongs to the victim? He was a detective, like myself. Did detective Bruce Goodman. <laughs> hmm, don't you think it's strange? What? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where he found it? Oh uh, yeah, it was just like in plain sight of it. Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Two years ago? If you can hear any of this, uh, Phoenix is currently eating sour cream and onion potato chips. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, and I'm definitely not going to steal some of them during this recording. Yeah, no, uh. no problem. I think these are a bit stale now. Here, you try this one. Tastes good to me. Okay. Evidence transfer. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But, according to my calculations, you get no bitches. Well, yeah, Gumshoe's too poor to get bitches right now. He's like, asking someone to a dinner. He's like, By the way, can you pay for it? <laughs> I only got like $10 left in my bank account. <laughs> He's like, Alright, we got two options <laughs> McDonald's and a Burger King. <laughs> And I'm only ordering off the value menu. I was just saying, like, yeah, he always up the dollar menu. Yeah. Like, can I get uh, a, a pack of ranch? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be it. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. Sorry to say this, but... What? Where it is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot. Didn't, didn't we already say that? Yeah. And, Lon and Lonis confessed as much. Ah. He's in a tough spot again. Again? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. Well, it wasn't his fault. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses, nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. No, I'm sure. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. 
People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Good for him, I guess. The the person from the last case, Hammond, it makes me think of there's an Overwatch character that's named Hammond, and it's he's a hamster. Aww. <laughs> yeah, Hammond the hamster. And so I just think of him as a, as a hamster. Mm. Is that all we can do here? Uh... I guess. What now? Wait, do you want to go back and examine the, the background yeah, of it? Yeah, I just realized that. Maybe we can look at the door, and then I was like, Wow, we should get inside! Oh, uh, I was wondering about that. What? The Dance of Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. Wait, he made it? You made this Detective Gumshoe? The Chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Oh. <laughs> no, no, nice work! It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Blue Badger, faded to dance to each- It's like, it's like a spoink. A what? Spoilings always just bounce until they die. Oh yeah, basically, yeah. A work of art designed by the chief of detectives and created by Detective Gumshoe. We really add that to our fucking list of evidence? We add the parrot to the fucking list of evidence. And you're surprised by this? Yeah, and the parrot was useful. Oh, you don't know Detective the Blue Badger can be useful? Guess you're right. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is... What's his name again? The guy in the parking lot? That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West L.A. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Received by Detective Gumshoe allows barrier... Yeah, uh... Barrier to examine the crime scene. Let's go. What's that crossed off shit on there? I don't know. I'm surprised that this can get us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Th is that what Gumshoe does? <laughs> oh, it's right there, huh? There we go. You clicked on the fucking badger thing again. Yeah, well, I mean, it didn't have the check on it, so I... Okay, now, now it does. Oh my gosh, I clicked on it again. You just love hearing the music for it. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> the intentions are in there that look pretty busy. Just imagine, right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action. Like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. Somehow the thoughts fail to excite me. Just imagine the SVU episodes, Phoenix, it's fine. <laughs> like the patrolman is saluting the other guy, he must be a detective. And well, then I said, Hey, you do that, you're super good cold, buddy. <laughs> that, that's hilarious, sir, I laughed so hard I cried. I guess he wasn't saluting, he was wiping tears from his eyes. They make a good pair. Mr. Wright, do you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? No idea, why? Well, I think they're designed after a panda! A panda? Not that I have scientific proof, it's just a theory. A, a game, game theory. theory. <laughs> uh, do you mind asking me how you come up with that theory? No! <laughs> it was when I was on a school trip, I saw a patrol car and it came to me. We had just been at the zoo, see? What about zebras? Or... Do they not have those at your zoo? <laughs> oh, it says police. <laughs> I always get excited when I come to a police station. Why is that? It just feels like I've jumped into a movie. Huh? You know, with all the police and criminals. It's what? like I'm in an episode of SVU. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if this is all that exciting. Sure it is. Look at those two officers over there. They're probably talking about the latest bust. And by bust, I mean boobs. Funny, I thought they were talking about the weather. 
Oh, what's that? The usual wanted posters are hanging up in the bulletin board here. You know this face? If you do, call 911. You know, Mr. Wright, I always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people in these posters. They hardly even look human. That's a point. Yeah, you look at it, it's like a lizard. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. No clues here. The banner here is announcing the crime fighting campaign. Nice slogan. I wonder if they'll be selling fingerprinting sets. I don't think that's the kind of campaign. What family wouldn't want to stay at home? It's good for finding out who snuck into the cookie jar. I think most families can figure out who it is without extra help. It's it's like what Munch would say. It's like just another way for the government to take control of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess that's what Tucker Gumshoe would say. <laughs> just another way that the, that Uncle Sam's breathing out our neck. <laughs> Looks like the investigation's still going on. I had to get back to the shop. Sorry. Looks like I'm be stuck in this pit until the sun sleeps. I'll be seeing you in my dreams tonight, then, baby. <laughs> Oh, it's the lady. Oh, it was, oh, he was talking. Oh, still here? Yeah, uh, hello. Why the surprise looks? Uh, didn't I mention? I got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. What happened to the security guard? <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost a turd. J. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of the crime scene. There's something I want to ask you. The scene of the crime. Cold grave for men who lost their dreams. And me, I watch over them as they sleep, dreaming of the desert's harsh judgment. He's asleep! Mm -hmm. Well, the movie filmed this. <laughs> Boy. Well, should we just... Should we show him this hopeless case? Something to catch his eye? There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime. A cold grave for men who oh, lost their dreams. Oh, he's just gonna repeat. And me, I watch over them as they sleep. Dreaming of the desert harsh stuff. <laughs> he's talking about Arizona. <laughs> he's asleep again! Oh, well, we should show him this hope. Wait, can you examine the envelope before we hand it over? What's the crossed out thing on there? I've missed- is that- I've... Here wait, just examine it. Oh, it's a uh, if I say it. Hey look here! It looks like something's been crossed out! Maybe it was a letter or something to Gumshoe. Let's see. Annual bonus, $20. Um, um I think a couple zeros are missing. No, that sounds about right. <laughs> At least to that detective's case. Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Alright, no, no, just do a good job and you won't have these problems, Emma. Mr. Marshall, can you take a look at this? Whoa, partner. If you're fixing a draw on me, you best be ready for a shootout. Ready to become food for the vultures, compadre? Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Does it matter only thing he's going to help us? I think he's only gonna help us if we give him the little thing. <laughs> All right, compadre, count to three. Huh? You gotta do that if you're gonna draw evidence on someone. That's what we do in Texas. I mean to never go <laughs> to Texas. Also, didn't Gumshoe say that he's from West LA? Oh yeah. Officer Marshall, can you take a look at this? I had to show him the badge. Yeah. Not the blue badger again. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right to the spittoon. That's the letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Oh, that old cow dog? Hmm. You old the birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction. Says, invitation. Ah, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? <laughs> no worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe better than a blood test. Guess I better let you in then. 
Uh, thank you, Officer Marshall. Uh, that's right. He is the patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handed, handled by a detective for hire? Well, folks. Clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settlers. Strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot, Danny. Note to self. Police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I don't like this case anymore. <laughs> you don't like the, this case anymore? <laughs> Bro, this case is weird. I get we have wacky characters in all of them, but no wonder why this was a bonus one. <laughs> yeah, this is um, a little interesting, to say the least. I say we won't be needing this anymore. Dr. Gumshoe's letter of introduction crumbled and discarded. Now we can look in the car! Finally! Yeah, you gotta do the LB. Finally, now we can look at the cool police sketch. B block is through here, and that's where the visitors park. I can see the Lunchland car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon town munching down a juicy looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think about it too deeply, and you'll be fine. Yeah, this is basically like a little thing of cannibalism. Oh. What's that? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, something's written on it. 6-7512-2. Oh, that's a mess. That's how I write my fives. <laughs> You're right, let's see. 6-7S-12-2. There's a name printed on the paper, but the good one. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so? What does it mean, Mr. A? How do I fucking know? <laughs> Note to self. For deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not right. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what it means either. <laughs> Victim's memo found in the trunk of the car. The pieces were to be the car where they found the body. It looks like the cl the lock on the trunk is busted. The crime took place in an underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. You're gonna be editing this and you're just gonna hear yourself eating a bunch of sour cream and onion chips. Yeah. This is some chomping ASMR. Yeah. Quite a luxury car! It just screams! I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get a, a big box. Yeah, and Wright's like, I, I, I eat Lunchables. <laughs> no, Lunchables are pretty expensive. It looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Of course you should check it out. Right. Let's check it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good job going over to it. Oh, now it lets me control? Okay, great. Bop. Hmm. This phone's still on the redial screen. Redial? Um, Mr. Ray, those phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know what a thing's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. What the fuck? I think Phoenix 25? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's just check out this phone. Are we gonna press the redial button? <laughs> Take out the batteries. <laughs> fuck up this entire oh, case. Oh, it's the strap. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know. I see the series is as popular as, they, as ever with the kids. Okay, I eat this entire bag. Okay. No, I don't know. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Now to see who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first. He just pushes the button. Okay, shut the fuck up, Emma. Beep. Hey, that song, I know that. 
Hey, what's going on over there? Beep. Oh, oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on their phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Sky. Why is my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except, she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those new fangled ring tunes. Oh, that? Oh. I'm sorry, it was my phone. Wh wh what? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. A wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Well, good thing we're not in Texas. Uh-oh. I've incidentally the wrath of the Lone, S Lone Star Patrolman. Property Alana Sky last call made at 12.18 on the day of the murder. That's 5.18. Fuck. <laughs> My sister's cell phone. Last time it was used was 518, right after Goodman was killed. Maybe she was canceling her date for the night? <laughs> Why did Lana make that call? Oh, now we can finally talk to him about shit. Could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that part. Uh, can you be more specific? Bruce Goodman, he was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 515. Smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel, Angel Star. One stab to the chest, fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Death due to loss of blood, one knife wound, died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive? Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the Chief Prosecutor. But my sister called it. Sorry, I was really confused because before I didn't say prosecutor, it said prospector. Oh. I think it's just the way that motherfucker talks. Yeah. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot? So it seems like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. I, I don't mean to mean anything offensive, but I'll be. Anyway. Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective? You calling me out? Shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. <laughs> Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? That cow dog has been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize he had. Did Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? I mean, poor guy. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister? That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. Fuck. And the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edward himself. I'm afraid your sister's face is sad, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, Bambina. How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... 
Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? <laughs> you are boyfriends. <laughs> I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will. Some Someone's up to something here, but who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forging evidence or raising testimonies, you mean? He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Indeed. Unbeatable, that is. Till he met you. The rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edward to their source, you find one person. Von Karma. They're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambino. Chief Prospector, Lana Scott. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. What? You're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timer said. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was the closest to Edgeworth? So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Ray? I guess we got some clues. We have, to, we have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? No. <laughs> well, the only thing that's still bothering me is Lana confessing to the crime. She says she did. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not a criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song of your phone plays when it rings. What? That's the still same right theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? The phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. At, at 518, just after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what uh, what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. That's called Major Sister Emma at 518 on the day of the murder. Damn. The detective is murdered and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I got a bad feeling about this. Like... Maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Yeah, it's a good topic place. <laughs> yep. To be continued. Yay. That's interesting. I didn't think that the day would end off there. I am so beyond confused. <laughs> Me too. I said I don't remember shit about this case. Yeah. I know who did it. I just, <laughs> I just don't remember how we got there. Yeah, so I would give, you know, this would be the point where I would give my opinions on everything. Honestly, I got no clue what's going on. I have an opinion. Edgeworth is hot. <laughs> okay. Well, ignoring that opinion, uh, I don't really have anything much else to say because, you know, we, we don't have much to go off of. I don't really have any clues as to who it could be because our, our main like suspect is still you know trying to convince us that they are the criminal mm -hmm. like I am just noticing like in this, these ones it says like day blank trial this one says day two trial former yeah I wonder what that means yeah I don't know either but I guess we'll find out in the next one yep so thanks for watching Yay. till next time yep. bye bye, bye, -bye.